Hi everybody, it's Faith from Creative Bug coming at you live like we do every Tuesday and Thursday. And today I have a very special guest, which you should know by now. It's <laughs> our friend of the family, honorary cousin, Miss Marley Bird. <laughs> Hello everybody, how are you? And today we're just gonna do a stitch and chat. So if you are a knitter or crocheter, pick up your needles and your hook and join us. Um, I Have you been a part of a knitting group? Are you a part of a knitting group? Oh my gosh, I was a part of a knitting group when I first started. Mm -hmm. um, a wonderful group called the Arvada Knitters, because I lived in Arvada, Colorado, mm -hmm. and we used to meet at this wonderful store called Knit Knack, and I used to teach there for five years. Mm -hmm. Um, and then as I became more and more busy, I couldn't join the group very much. And then I moved away. Mm -hmm. So in my local area, I don't have a group. Like, I really feel like, I feel like my Facebook friends, my Facebook, the Marley's Minions, they are, they are my knitting group. I know, right? I have, great my, name. I have my own group. I want to um, be a minion. But they are my, they're my... They're my knitting group, my yeah. crochet group. They're my people. Yeah. I love the Marley's. Hi, Marley's Minions. So I hope you're all here, Marley's Minions, <laughs> stitching. They're fantastic. And if you're not a Marley's Minion, if you're a, a fan of Faith, um, hi. <laughs> hi as well. Um, <laughs> fan of Faith. And we did. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's hilarious. I know, and it, it might get confusing. Other Faith groups. <laughs> Uh, we'll work on the name. <laughs> if you have any ideas, feel free to share. And also, oh, um, all jokes aside, if you do have um, questions or comments, don't hesitate to write in. We are live and we'll be around for about 20 minutes. Yeah. So, um, timer starts now. Ask us pressing questions, existential or otherwise. Right. Aside from, we'll talk about our projects in a minute. I'm going to get some more inches done so I have more to show you. Um, you wanted to show us a brand new yarn. I do want to show you a brand new yarn by Red Heart. Because um, as you guys know, I'm the national spokesperson for Red Heart Yarns. And so when I get to come here and show you new products that we have, I get excited because Faith gets me. You're my people. You could be an honorary minion. I, was, um, I am now. Oh, all right. Cool. Can I be an official minion? <laughs> Yes, okay. absolutely. Um, but Red Heart Amore yarn, this is a 100% polyester yarn. It has a chainette construction, and it is so incredibly soft. It's really soft. And it feels so good, and it's amazing because as all the designers who have used it so far to create some of these awesome garments that we have out here, they are falling in love with it, whether they're knitting with it or crocheting with it. It just feels really good to work with. Um, it is machine washable and dryable. It comes in really beautiful, on-trend um, colors, and it's just, it's just a really really great yarn. And this is the full palette? I think this is a full palette. I'm not sure. You're asking me a question I should have known, but I don't know. They're they're very neutral and um, flattering. I think of it as like tone. dusty. Don't you think of like yeah. like the like this color here? I think of it as like a dusty color. My yeah, yeah, grandmother yeah. who taught me how to crochet would have loved this color. And it is as soft as you say yeah. and also the stitch definition is exceptional. So these are the crochet garments, but this knit one here, I I you sent it to me and I unpacked it and instantly felt like, oh, this looks like something you get at the Gap. Right? That's exactly what I thought. That's exactly what I thought. I was like, gap. And I was like, what yarn is this? Because right. I didn't expect it, the finished product, to be as wonderful right, as right, it is. Right, right, right. It feels so good, you guys. It's exactly something that you think, would pull off the rack and just be like, oh, this is lovely. What can I, what I want can to I say it in this cables. Ooh, Don't you think that would be nice cables? I think it'd be beautiful in cables. I love it. I think it's just, it's just really, it's a really pretty fabric. Um, so these pieces here, these are cardigans and sweaters that have been um, put together. And kind of the theory behind this was sort of like your back to school sweater. Or if I know that uh, there are some offices that really have the air conditioning cranked up a lot. So even in the middle of summer, the office people need sweaters at their desk. And so these would be great for that. Uh, we've put together a lookbook. I think it's the back to school lookbook. Is that... I think yeah. I said that earlier. Um, the back to school lookbook, you can look in there and see some wonderful designs. Again, knitting Very and crochet cute. sweaters. This one has a really good wide boat neck. Oh, it's super, perfect. super simple, right? And it, it doesn't look like it has too much shaping. No, very easy, doable oh, like pattern. This. Isn't that great? Yes. I mean, it's so, it feels, I wish you guys could feel this through the camera because it feels feel it so too. incredibly soft. It feels so good. It almost feels like a chenille. We're like, yeah. your your hands are feeling more than your eye is seeing. Yeah. Oh, that's a great way to describe it. Thank you. That's so great, fans of faith. <laughs> you guys have... Oh, I'm sorry. 
I love it. It's awesome. Anyways, so then you have this one here, simple construction. Really pretty. Again, very simple with the nice little shawl collar. Mm -hmm. um, easy crochet piece, right? Mm -hmm. It's just like simple. It's probably they look Ooh, like they're double crochets. I know, right? I mean, it's just so on trend, whether you're making it for yourself, mm -hmm. making it for somebody going back to school. I really feel like there's there's no way to make a mistake here. Like it's just really a really wonderful, easy projects to do. And the yarn is so fantastic. I really like the colors. So incredibly soft, super wonderful. Um, it's available in stores. It's always available at redheart.com. Um, it's, just, it's just good stuff. Let's open this other one, see what we have. Yeah, I'm distracted from my knitting because I, I was going to say, you the stopped petting. stitching. Well, I, I just want to rub everything. <laughs> it's so great. I love it. Right? It's Isn't really this pretty. Again, oh, pockets. Pockets are the thing. Pockets yeah. are the thing. Everybody likes a good pocket. Can you find a dress with a pocket in it? Do you feel like you've like won? Yes. Like it's the best. Yes. My daughter found a dress for homecoming last year and she put it on. I was like, oh, you look so pretty. And she goes, mom, it has pockets. And she like, I was like, that was it. That's all she wrote. So pockets are big. Perfect. <laughs> you know what would be really cool is if you did the inside portion a different color mm -hmm. than the outside. So mm -hmm. it kind of gave you that peekaboo. You know, what color oh, would you yeah. put in? I don't, that's, I'd want to do white, but then when I put like my chocolate in yeah, it. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> it get a little dirty. <laughs> well, even like a brown or anything would be yeah, really pretty. Yeah, that would be nice. It'd be good, right? Just nice. You could even do like a top stitch, like a slip stitch mm -hmm. along, just make it look pretty. It's Anyways, gorgeous. there's lots of different things you can do to really jazz it up and make these your own. Let's open the white one up. Mm -hmm. Let me do it. I can do it. I don't want to interrupt your folding. <laughs> I'm very meticulous. We're all saying there, Marley minions and for sure faith hey! followers. Hey, faith, faith, faith followers, followers, followers of faith. Um, Courtney reports that there are many of you watching and joining us in this super fun day. And thank you so much for giving us your time and uh, hanging out with us for a minute. And if you're having a good time, um, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. If you know people who also want to hang out at 4 o'clock Pacific time on Tuesdays and Thursdays, which I always do. Also, you should know when I'm not on these shoots, I'm watching them <laughs> and also commenting. Sometimes I'm moderating, but I, I never miss a one. So um, please spread the excitement and the fuzzy knitting stuff. I love it. Thank I feel you, like Courtney, the sharing. Marley's minions need some sort of like a like a hand signal, like, you know, I got you, <laughs> you know, <laughs> like something crazy. Yeah. Anyways, but the white one here, no pockets, but still super duper cute, right? Yes. So pretty. Very easy, very doable. So all okay. of you who are beginner knitters, beginner crocheters, these are very wearable, accessible pieces that you absolutely can make. make. Um, these patterns are all free at redheart.com. You can find the yarn at redheart.com um, and it's just now hitting the shelves at different stores. So you can check it out there and you're going to feel it. You're going to pull it off the shelf and be like, wow, this feels so good. And I mean, it just, it feels great, right? I love it. It's so lovely. Absolutely lovely. Look at it. Look at you. You're I like, know. wow. They're loving the pockets. They love the colors and the yarn. They love the styles of the garments. Cool. Courtney reports, you're loving these sweaters. Us too. And pockets. <laughs> pockets. And, and the pockets. Because pockets are key. Can I go back to knitting now? You can go back to knitting. I love it. <laughs> I love it. It's so awesome. We actually, um, Ursula and I were both knitting. I'll tell you this pattern in a minute so, so that it builds suspense <laughs> what's faith knitting it looks super tiny um and this is a great meeting project okay um but really the the main kind of knitting i wanted to talk to you about because you are always on airplanes yes i am let's talk about your travel knitting you talk about my travel knitting yeah Aww. it actually seems like kind of a personal question it kind of does doesn't it but i think the first thing is for those of you that don't know you can bring knitting needles on a plane and you can bring a crochet hook on the plane here in America. So if you're anywhere else in the world, you got to kind of check out what the airlines require for you. But in America, you can bring knitting needles on a plane. And they don't even have to be circulars. They could be straights. Um, but I have, I have constant bags that I just keep uh, full of whatever little project I have. So for this one, this is my go-to bag right now on the plane just because I finished my other project in the other one. And I have it full of chic sheep yarn, which you know is my own yarn. And the other day I was flying home from Indiana and I'm like, all right, I gotta make something because I'm just sitting there on the plane. So I cast on some stitches, did some ribbing, and I jumped into a seed stitch. I wanna make a hat. Where were you in Indiana? Why was I in Indiana? I was Where? Oh, in uh, Fishers, Indianapolis, oh. Fishers area. My fiance is from Columbus, Indiana. Oh, 
I have no idea where that is, but that's awesome. They made a movie about it. <laughs> oh. Which is very surprising to everybody who grew up there. Really? It's really good. Interesting. Talk about later. Well, I was, yeah, I was there to visit some of my, um, my girlfriends. So they were there and we just had a wonderful time. But when I'm on a plane, I like to use, do projects that I don't have to move too much. You know what I mean? So I'm not turning my work very much. Um, so I tend to make a lot of hats. Um, the other day I finished, let me see if I can pull out the finished one. I finished a fingerless mitt. Oh, it's cute. But it's too small. So and then I tried another one, which is the right size, but it requires all the cables, which I don't use a cable needle when I cable, mm -hmm. so it's fine. I can do this. Um, well, what do you do with that one? I don't know yet. <laughs> so I can get it on. Oh, sure. But it's just it's just that, it's just too snug. What if you needed, like, compression mitts? Maybe. Maybe. That would work. That would work. But they're cool, right? They're so beautiful. So what's cool about this is I have a hat coming out with this pattern on it um, from Red Heart, like, next month. So you're getting kind of a sneak peek, but there's a pattern with this or a hat pattern with this on it. So I was like, ooh, I want fingerless pins to match. But they're just a little bit too snug. So I have these going, I have this going. I just kind of keep things rotating through and just kind of mess with it. I also do entrelock. Because mm -hmm. if you if you do entrelock and you don't have to turn your work if you knit backwards. Oh. So you can sit there like this the whole time and you're not really you don't have to turn your work back and forth. You're just entrelock knitting. But, th but you also knit backwards. I do. Like a genie. Well, it's, you know, it's... Or a wizard. You just do it. I don't, I don't know. Mm, she's good. Yeah. Mary says, don't eat the mittens. Don't eat the mittens. That's But, but then I have to make one. a second one. <laughs> so. The suggestion was to donate the mittens. Thank you so much for your suggestion. Yeah, you probably one, should. Though. I know. You have to make My daughter one. even tried them on. And look, I've got big hands. So big I was like, hands. well, maybe it's just me. And so she tried them on. She's like, no, these are snug, Mom. I'm like, I know. So I got to gotta rethink that one. I don't know. But anyways, so I just keep... Um, you know, a project in my bag, in my carry-on that I mm. am able to pull out. I do the same thing in my car. I have three kids. Two of them are in sports constantly, so I'm always in the car. So I have a project in my car that's just kind of hanging out there. So if I'm waiting around, I work on a pair of socks, I'm just kind of there. And you just, you never know. You never know when you can pull out your knitting and just enjoy it. How about you? What do you tend to work on. Well, at first I thought you were going to say that you were knitting while you were driving. Oh, no. <laughs> I, I don't do that, officer. Ever. No, I really don't. <laughs> I really don't. I promise. Which I, there's a lot of traffic where I live. Uh-huh. So I'm tempted. Well, I guess if you were stopped. But, you know, even still, yeah, I don't know. It's but a, wouldn't it be really amazing to be able to do the joke where the officer's like, pull over, and then you say, no, it's a shop. I know, right? <laughs> That's that's my goal. My You're weaving. No, I'm knitting. <laughs> what yeah. are all the crazy jokes we oh can do? Oh my gosh, I want to make it happen, <laughs> I but don't know. I also don't want to go you to don't jail. Don't want to test that. No, um, I would not want to test that theory. Right. <laughs> <laughs> no kind of jokes. We do have a prize to give away. We have a prize to give away. We do have prizes to give away. Um, I feel like they should like, comment, and share this video for a chance to win okay. a $25 prize package from Red Heart Yarns. And we have two of those to give away. So we will randomly select two winners, what, by next, next, next show? Your next show? I don't know. What do you guys think, Courtney? Yes. Thoughts? By Tuesday. By Tuesday. Yeah. So you have time to watch this, like, share, and comment for a chance to win a $25 prize package from Red Heart Yarn. So please do. There's good stuff. It's really good stuff. It's good stuff. Amore. And so you have been coming in. F when did your yarn officially launch? Officially launched November of last year. So we've been telling you about Chic Sheep by Marley Bird mm -hmm. for since last November, and it's available online. But it is finally available in stores Yay. and I know it's hard sometimes to buy yarn without touching it first yes um though you would buy food without tasting it first oh very good analogy mm -hmm. look at that if you want to if you want to shame people you can say <laughs> well you know what I don't have to because the Marley's minions honestly they they believed me because they're like we, we trust them. Marley mm -hmm. so they ordered it online they're getting it they're using it and they're helping me spread the word so they have been diligently sending emails to these different companies they're like you need to carry this yarn so they finally kind of listened and so Joann's is putting it into a hundred stores right now all 24 colors 
are going into 100 different Joann stores across the country. So if you have not tried out Marley's Chic Sheet by Marley Bird, you can go to the store. I'm telling you, all I need you to do is touch it. Just mm -hmm. grab it off the shelf. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to mess up your really pretty sure. display. Well, See, because it's so good. Oh, I totally. Courtney, okay, the moderator oh. reports. If you go from the middle, we're All right, I'll having basket difficulties. Okay, sorry, it's one of my favorite colors. It's a really pretty. So, one. if I could just get you to touch it, right? Just grab it, squish it, mm -hmm. rub it on your neck. You're mm -hmm. going to see. Those of you who are like, ooh, wool is so scratchy. No, this is not scratchy. It feels so good. And even like you can, you can see the spring in it as you're messing with it. Like, it just feels really good. And then do me a favor, have fun and look at the different colors. It's just it's just good yarn, you guys. And even if you just buy one, okay, maybe you just buy one and just to try it out. We have free patterns at redheart.com for you to um, try out just even one color, whether it's for knitting or crochet. There's lots of patterns out there for you, lots of pattern support. Because I want you to try this yarn. I want you to have an affordable merino yarn it's available. Merino. merino. It's 100% merino. Yeah, and it feels so good, you guys. Those of you who don't know what merino is, it's a type of sheep, a, a merino sheep. They're very, very soft, um, and it's a good squishy yarn. I don't know. It's really it just nice. feels really good. So I would, I would encourage you guys to go and check it out. And if it's not at your local Joann's store, you can get it at joann.com, redheart.com. You know, just check it all out because... You're not going to be disappointed, you guys. Just trust me. I'm a knitter. I'm trust a crocheter. Her. Trust I'm her. Not, she's a knitter. Right? Yeah. I'm not going to give you something that I wouldn't want to use. And this is fantastic. It's it's my go-to yarn. Not just because it has my name on it, right? It's not. I feel like that hair commercial. I'm not just the president. I'm a client too. Like I love it. I love using it. I love the colors. It's lovely, right? 100%. It's 100% merino wool, and it's mercerized merino, which means it's washable. Yep. Which is a big deal. So you can use it to make your sister sweaters for her children, <laughs> except for sometimes I take a long time and then they grow. Well, that's why you make them extra big. I'll do that next time. Sorry, Charlotte. <laughs> I'm trying. You're so funny. But and they're too big for booties now, my niece and nephew. Yeah. So go for a hat. But I love knitting booties. Maybe that's a spoiler for what I'm knitting right now. Are you making booties right now? Yes. Did you bring your hat up? No. Oh, you forgot your hat. I did knit a hat out of using Marley's yarn. Um, it's a beginner hat pattern, and it's going to be out in October. And I was really excited to show it to you, but um, I left it downstairs. And I wasn't <laughs> going to bring it up. Oh, I just, I didn't even think, you didn't tell I'm me so you didn't bring it up. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, I'm so sorry. I failed I just, I as a follower you. of faith. Uh, <laughs> I failed as Marley's minion. That's so funny. No, you're good. You're good. So you're making booties. Oh, we'll show them the hat next time. The amore and booties would be so beautiful. Th that's the first thing I thought, also because I'm obsessed with this booties pattern. So it's called the O oh Baby exclamation point Baby Booties pattern. It's on Ravelry, and it's $5. And the reason why I'm pointing out the price is I made these booties about eight years ago, and I gave them to my best friend. And she, um, she used them for her baby, and then she had another baby a couple of years later, and she had said, this is, I, it's the one thing that I've reused for my second child, because the first was a lot of lacy cardigans, and, and the second child was a young man. And, um, and so I, knitted, I wanted to knit it again, but the pattern cost money, and I thought I could find something better for free, and I actually tried for three years to recreate the pattern on my own, or to find a free version, mm -hmm. and I couldn't. And then I bought it for $5, and I've made it like eight times since. So it's paid for itself. It's paid for itself. Sometimes it's worth supporting your favorite designer. And it's always worth supporting your favorite designer. So definitely check out the Oh Baby Baby Booties pattern. And we also have some booties patterns on Creative Bug, of course. That's so cool. Because we have a little bit of everything you could possibly need if you are a craftsperson of any sort. That's awesome. So I have a couple things I want to tell you about. Um, the chic sheep stuff because I just it just dawned on me. So right now we're doing a chic sheep blog tour with some of our favorite Ooh. blogger designers, and the variety of stuff that we are getting out from these. I mean, they're it's phenomenal. It's like because everybody has their own style, right? They all have their own followers, their own mm. minions, and we reached out to these wonderful people um, and we said, hey, we love your style. We would love to 
just give you some yarn and you make something that you know your fans that you, you like, like whatever you want to do. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, we have some sweaters, this beautiful scarf by Yarn Utopia, Nadia. Uh, it's so beautiful. And like, there's just some great stuff coming through. So that's happening right now. Okay. Um, and you can find information about that at marleybird.com and at redheart.com. Like it's just, it's a blog tour. So every, I think it's every other day, like another designer comes out with a new, a new project using Chic Sheep. So there's, I mean, on top of the, I think we have 25 projects or something like that on redheart.com using my yarn, but we have all these other bloggers. And what's great, you guys, these are my friends, and they're like, oh yeah, Marley has a yarn, yay. But now they're getting the yarn, they're like, oh my gosh, I, I love your yarn. Like, it's for real, right? They're like, oh yeah, Marley has a yarn. Oh but gosh. then it's like, dude, have you tried Marley's yarn? And so that feels really good, right? I mean, we all like that. Um, so that's really cool. And then um, every year I do a crochet along and a knit along. And the crochet along for Red Heart is going to start next month. Nice. So details are going to be coming out next week from Red Heart and from me. So if people are interested, the crochet along is happening next month. And awesome. we're using Chic Sheep also. Awesome. Because it's in stores and so people can get it and we want people to go and try it out. Fun, right? I even, so we had a, a long meeting and I already had a knitting project set and Ursula said, I'm, Ursula, our CEO said, I'm not going to be able to sit through this meeting and watch you knit without wanting to knit. And I said, girl, Grab I have the yarn needles. for you, and I have the pattern for you. And I gave her the baby booties pattern, and then um, a ball of chic sheep. Did you? Yes. Oh, that's so cool. Because it's the best. It is the best, right? Because mm -hmm. Faye's like, oh, Marley has some yarn. And then, have you tried Marley's yarn? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you did mention sure. how to enter the giveaway, what the giveaway is, and Joanne won. Sure. The giveaway is a $25 prize package from Red Heart Yarn. Two of them. Two of them, two $25 price packages. And to enter you, like, comment, and subscribe. And if you are new to Creative Bug, we'll give you your first month for free if you go to creativebug.com slash joanne1. That gives you one month for free. That's 30 days. You can get so much done in 30 days. Dude. Or just watch. I think you could probably watch everything even when you're sleeping and let it enter into your dreams. And then, and you still couldn't get through it all. No, you couldn't. And the, what's cool about it is even as a knitter and crocheter, primarily I am, mm -hmm. but I find satisfaction and joy from watching some of the other videos, especially like Courtney's videos, mm -hmm. your videos with the, you. the little books. Yeah. Oh, those are so cool. Aren't they cool? I don't think I could ever do it, but I love okay. watching you do it. I'm like, that is just the neatest thing. Like, they, I love it. They make noise. And they then, Courtney, were you the one that you did... A video, I think it was a it was a live video where you broke pottery or something and glued it together. Oh my gosh, that's the coolest thing ever! So super cool. See, I'm a fan. I'm a creative bug crew. We're mutual I'm part fans. of the creative bug crew. Yes. There you go. Pure alliteration today. <laughs> I know, right? I actually, so I'm currently working on Ray Hextra's um, Cleo skirt, and I have. Oh, that's the one downstairs. Yeah. So I got real weird, and I had the two <laughs> screens up, and so I would watch the instruction, and then I'd have to stitch, and so then I'd pop up to a, a CBTV episode uh -huh. and watch some. So I have two screens of Creative Bug. I'm obviously obsessed, um, <laughs> but it's a good thing I work here, so I can get my fix many hours a day. But if you are new to Creative Bug, um, check out our one month free offer. Um, I'm sure you'll have an absolute blast. If we have, I'm happy to keep. I started talking and I got off. Okay. I have two more questions. One, I've had a couple people ask, is this yarn available in the UK? I assume Red Heart ships to the UK. So. The question is, is this yarn available in the UK? Love Knitting actually sells Chic Sheep. Um, I don't know about Amore, but I know Love Knitting sells Chic Sheep, and they're in the UK. So um, I'm pretty sure you can get that, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Pretty and pretty also, pretty what are you both working on? I know Faith, you're doing baby booties, but Marley, what are you working on? I'm making a hat. So I am just doing a basic seed stitch hat. Um, as you can see, I'm a continental knitter. So I hold the yarn in my left hand. And so I find seed stitch really soothing, where I know a lot of throwers really despise seed stitch. But I, I find it really easy just because just, it just flows. Like I'll, I'll be quiet for a second and just let it go but I just move it between my needles so quickly and easily. So, I wish I had learned Continental. Yeah? Because I can't go back. Well, and I can throw, but it's a little bit awkward when I have to throw and purl. Like, it's not very pretty. 
But really, yeah. But I can I can knit backwards better continental than I can throw a regular. It's amazing. You know, so I don't know. It's just one of those things. So I find seed stitch very soothing and meditative. So when I was done with the ribbing, because I didn't want to do ribbing anymore, even though seed stitch is basically like a ribbing because you're still just back mm -hmm. and forth. Um, I just, I was like, you know what? I'm going to do seed stitch. And so I thought I'd do a nice seed stitch, just a nice big hat, big kind of slouchy hat, and uh, put it up as a free pattern on marleybird.com. Cool. So that's that. That's what I'm working on. Something easy, something fun. You're is making she, booties. Is she a good yarn for a 10-year-old beginner? Is she cheap so. a good yarn for a 10-year-old beginner? So, absolutely. Absolutely. Because so, the colors. Yeah. And in my opinion, it's... So wool has a natural give to it. So you know as you're a beginner, usually you knit really tight or crochet really tight. And it's nice to have a yarn that has a little bit of a give. And it'll be um, less stress like on your joints and stuff. And just it just works really well. So yeah, um, when I taught my kids how to knit and crochet, I taught them with wool. Um, so yeah, I would absolutely say that that's a good yarn. But that's not to say it's the only good yarn. Like you could absolutely start them off with super saver. You could start them off with a more. You could start them off with all sorts of things. I think the biggest thing is when you're teaching a beginner, um, just show them patience. Show them encouragement. Like it's all right. It's okay that you messed up. We'll just keep going on and it's going to be fine because eventually they will get it. And if you are able to teach them without any sort of stress in your own voice, they aren't going to experience stress as they're doing it. You know what I mean? Like they aren't going to have this constant memory of, oh my gosh, I tried knitting one time and it was so stressful. Well, yeah, it might have been stressful, but if you're there encouraging them and giving them props and being like, oh my gosh, look what you did and just teaching them how to fix things as they go along, I think that they have a much better experience with it. But I try to warn people in advance that it is really stressful when you first start knitting because remember all that? Oh, yeah. That hype around like knitting is the new yoga. Yeah, oh, yeah. And like yoga, I think, is also very stressful. And I think that they can be equally as sweaty because when you first learn to knit, it's oh, very gosh. intense and oh, hard. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. All your muscles are tense. And so if you expect it to be like a piece of cake, then of course you're going to be disappointed when it's tricky. Yeah. But it doesn't have to be. You no, know, you just have to give yourself some patience and some room for error. So even as adults, like we like to pick something up and let it be perfect immediately. And it's just not going to be. And you have to give yourself the okay that it's not going to be perfect the first time. And that's really hard for a lot of adults, I find. Mm -hmm. They really struggle with the idea of, oh my gosh, I've been doing this a week, even though it's like 30 minutes. And they can't do it. It's like, yes, you can. Just give yourself some time. It will click. The fastest I've ever taught anyone to knit was... Um it was for, I think it was for a, like a health awareness campaign, and so it was a group of firemen um, oh, in Queens. This. Yeah, I, they they remain forever an inspiration to me because they they learned to knit so fast because they weren't afraid to make mistakes, and they'd look at it and say, "That looks terrible," and they'd keep going. Mm -hmm. And I think with knitting, you need to make a certain number of stitches before they start to look right yes. anyway. So with every stitch, you are you want that stitch to be perfect. It's going to take you forever. Mm -hmm. But if you mess up a whole bunch of times, then you're going to get to that point a lot faster. Yeah. Love FDNY. Good job, <laughs> those guys. Saving lives and knitting. And knitting. I know a lot of um, firefighters that knit. Like, they would come into the yarn shop and knit. And um, so some cool. of them were, were closet knitters. Like, they didn't want their friends to know. Really? So these guys would come in with all their knitting in a tackle box. I'm not even joking. Get out of town. No, they would come in with the tackle because it was very That's manly to come so in with the tackle cute. box. And then they'd open it up and they'd pull out the most beautiful lace shawl ever <laughs> out of their tackle what? box. I'm not even joking. Like, this wasn't a tackle box that they used for fishing, but right. they bought it, sold right. that was their knitting thing. Right. I'm not even joking. That's darling. Mm -hmm. It's precious. It was great. Anyways. <laughs> um, are there, if there are any more questions, I'm sure people want to have a, they want to have a knitting group with us. We should have a knitting group. I'd love to be part of your knitting group. I would love. Well, it. when I have my class launch in October, anyone who takes mm. it can be part of my knitting group. Yes. And it's, it's a very simple, flat garter stitch hat. That it's is super cute. I, and it's made with the best I, yarn. 
It's made with a really good yarn. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. It's always such a pleasure. This is like the best part of my whole week. And Marley, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks. I always we have a good time. You. I hope you guys enjoyed learning about woo, Red Heart Amore yarn. Um, check it out. You aren't. It is so soft. It is so incredibly it's soft. Really. One hundred percent polyester. You're gonna check it. Check it out. Um, all the sweaters, again, they're free patterns at redheart.com. Check out uh, Chic Sheep by yes. Marley Bird. Yeah. For Marley Bird Minions. Here you go. Awesome. And we'll see you next Tuesday. Bye, guys.